For the visitors who are looking for new recipes, a great drink, or just a tasty snack, the Grand Tastings had plenty to offer. You know, this Grand Tasting is probably sort of the most fun. There's so many great wineries and spirits companies, restaurants and purveyors, and everybody's here sampling. Today we have like thousands of people coming through this tent today. So if you want to eat, drink, and have fun, this is the place to be. We do uh, events all throughout New York year-round, but the Wine and Food Festival is definitely one of the biggest. The Food Bank benefits because we get, are getting 100% of the ticket sale proceeds, sharing with Share Our Strength. Share Our Strength, a uh, children's hunger organization. Our mission is to end childhood hunger by the year 2015. It's always good to give something back, because if you think about it, not everybody's lucky in the way that we are, and there is people out there that they don't realize, even if they have little, how much they have. We're so big on fighting against hunger at ShopRite through our Partners in Caring effort, and it's just a huge honor, so thank you to everybody for coming out. I hope everybody has a chance to try some of our delicious foods. We feel it's a, a great venue for us to showcase our product. Uh, all our, We have 20 restaurants on new ships. We, uh, promote freestyle. We have a lot of freestanding restaurants of all, all ethnic uh, varieties. So, and then you're in New York. I think all of the chefs here, all of the foodies here, we're always looking for new ideas, new techniques, new tips. And I think our message, ShopRite's message, is really about authenticity. So if you're going to if you're going to buy what's called an Italian olive oil, then it really is olives from Italy. It's about authenticity. You don't have to use a million ingredients, but whatever you use in your dishes, use the quality, the best quality you can get. It's a piece of bib lettuce, pork belly, uh, smoked tomato, mayonnaise, some caraway seeds, and panko breadcrumbs. Now, how do you decide what you're going to present here at the event? Um, I think we definitely want to use something that's on the menu so people can have it and they say like, oh wow, that's great, so they can actually come and have it. Um, but also like logistically, we're cooking in a tent on a pier in the Hudson, you know what I mean? So it has to like make sense. So I think in terms of difficulty, we're at our limit here. Well, I did the event last year and to decide what we were going to do, we had to do something we could produce that was going to be good and produce for a lot of people. There is a lot of people at this event. and. Luckily, this year we really got a good a, a good thing to hand out because people are loving it, and you know it's a big party. People eating and drinking. Who who doesn't want to be part of that? And now I'm working right now. That's the good thing. <laughs> Don Q Ram, first ram in Puerto Rico. Uh, I don't even work with them. I just like it. You know, they infuse the ram with all kinds of flavor. It's a good company. It's I love I love the product, and they had the chance to be in New York, so I said you know I'll give you my two hour here. I love it. The New York Wine and Food Festival brings some of the finest food and the finest wine um, that New York City and, and really the world has to offer, so we're really excited to be here. Um, we have um, our new glass range of products, um, and this is Evian Natural Spring Water, um, as well as a sparkling companion. This is Bidois Sparkling Natural Mineral Water, the perfect complement to a fine dining experience. We're really excited to showcase the, the new packaging um, that looks really great on any uh, dining table. Uh, this is Viv. It's an acai spirit. It mixes and drinks like a vodka. It's the acai beret from Brazil, thought to be the healthiest fruit on the planet. It's rich in antioxidants and nutrients. And these are all fresh, locally sourced organic ingredients that we like to mix with the vive and have people try it. It's a good way for them to be creative and try something new. For somebody who is visiting this tent for the very first time, what's your advice? I would start slow and I come here first because our food is really good and take it easy on the uh, 